Good afternoon, it's one minute past one p.m. and this is 89.9 Spice FM. I'm Emmanuel Nyabongo Alinda. Police in Hoima is stranded with a body of a man only identified as Paul Isingoma, age 20, from Kavoya Trading Center in Kavoya Sub County, Hoima District. The Deputy OC Traffic Officer, Hoima Police Station Isaac Abang, this morning addressed Spice FM at his office, adding that this man was knocked at night in Kavoya Trading Center by a hit and run vehicle on July, on the 1st of July this year. Abang says that the dead man is expected to be a resident of Pachua in Chivale district. Please pick the corpse and is stranded with it while it decomposes in the police morgue at Hoima. Abong says that they have tried looking for the relatives but have failed, adding that uh, whoever realizes a lost someone or relative ought to cross-check with a police mortuary. However, he concludes that police are continuing with the investigations and the hunt for the vehicle. The Hoima District HIV focal person uh, Annette Mutaganywa points out that needs to increase sensitization programs in fighting folks, uh, you know, uh, fishing folks, commercial sexual workers, and uh, armed people as a way of uh, reducing on infection amongst groups. Uh, she notes that the rate at which HIV AIDS prevalence is increasing among these groups is alarming, adding that there's need to create awareness amongst them. She says that this prevalence could go down if measures are put in place to stop it. Local leaders in Hoima District have expressed appreciation to this uh, to Spice Media Services Limited for collaborative efforts towards advocating for improved service delivery. Speaking at Spice's uh, Ensongo Mbantu program held at St. Anatole Karama Primary School in, 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 in Iguanjura, Parish Kavoya Sub-County yesterday, Honorable Tofas uh, Kahua Viajira, the Hoima District Woman Member of Parliament, committed Spice's commitment and continuous support for national efforts in promoting education, health environment, among others. Honorable Viajira, who promised to support the Songo Mbantu program with 200,000 shillings, observed that through these Spice engagements, leaders have been able to identify community concerns. Opio Vincent Alpha, the district councillor for Kavoya Sub County, committed Spice FM's advocacy for improved education, adding that such debates have improved his lobbying capacity from the district. Meanwhile, Francis Tracy J. Mokoto, the Kavoya Sub County chairman, said that Spice debates have helped his sub county in arousing leadership intervention. Spice FM manager Andrew Mega Kwahua both uh, thanks the leaders for their positive response and assures that the station is committed to amplifying community concerns for social development. The function was attended by hundreds of participants, uh, was characterized by uh, entertainment and a friendly football match between Spice FM and uh, St. Anatoly Karama Primary School staff. The Masindi District Chairperson Wilson Isingo Mamujimba has advised beneficiaries of community driven development uh, CDD uh, and uh, special interest groups uh, grants to, gra uh, to rather leave the money if they know they could misuse it. Mojimba vowed to make follow ups through monitoring exercises and advised beneficiaries to report to the police in case they lose anything under their enterprises. He directed the acting uh, district community development officer Milton Mujisha Mugungu to hand over the list of beneficiaries to Operation 12 creation officers so that they can check on them uh, while they monitor NERD's beneficiaries. Former Uganda Prime Minister uh, John Patrick Amama Mbavazi insists that his countrywide consultative meetings will go on as planned. Mbavazi, who recently declared his 2016 presidential bid this morning, addressed the media at uh, his campaigning office in Nakusoro, Kampala. Mbavazi says that police shouldn't misguide the public that this uh, Public Order and Management Act bars him from doing so. Have a listen. Are different lawyers are reaching out to the police as they want to um, the electoral commission, suggesting that we should meet because, as I have said before, I am a stickler to the rule of law. So, in the case of there is a misunderstanding, if they have another interpretation, we would like to meet with them, with the police, with the electoral commission, and harmonize all these so that our rights and freedom to hold public meeting is not either interfered, interfered with or his first consultative meeting is scheduled for uh, this Thursday in Mbale district.
Vegetable prices have reduced in Hoima Central Market, going by the vendor's revelation. Uh, revelations. A cabbage that is approximately a third time smaller than the normal size wall clock is at uh, 300 shillings from 500 shillings, and a bigger one stands at 1,000 shillings from 2,000 shillings in the last two months. Watermelon has reduced from 5,000 shillings to 2,000 shillings. A sack of eggplant stands uh, between 30,000 shillings and 40,000 shillings from the 70,000 shillings, and a box of tomatoes that is roughly uh, thrice bigger than a crate of soda stands at 60,000 shillings from 100,000 shillings. Talking to one of the vendors, one John Ayesiga, he attributed this. He attributes this to the ongoing harvest season where every farmer is selling produce and, like this, increasing the quality, uh, the quantity of vegetables. In sports this afternoon, less than three days after eliminating Tanzania's Taifa Stars from the 2016 African Cup of Nations Championships qualifiers, Uganda Cranes embarks on another duty, this time an international friendly against Malawi's Flames in, Balta in Blantyre, beg your pardon, in Blantyre. However, this will be entirely a different Cranes as a uh, coach, uh, Militin Micho Shredovic, has opted to take only the under-23 players in order, in order to make a good preparation for the Africa Youth Championship qualifiers tie against Egypt. Well, flying onto the foreign scene, Tunisia has declared a state of emergency just uh, over a week after 38 tourists, mainly Britons, died in an attack in the resort city of uh, Sousse. The state of emergency gives security forces more powers and limits the right of public assembly. Before we end this bulletin, a quick listen at the main points. HIV focal person calls for more awareness. Leaders thank Spice FM, fruit and vegetable prices nosedive or fall, and then cranes to face Malawi in a friendly. Uh, thank you very much. This brings us to the end of this bulletin at uh, 8 minutes past 1 p.m. And this is uh, the Spice FM lunch hour is next. Stay tuned. You are more than worthy of a wonderful, satisfying lunch. Stay tuned to Spice FM for fresh news and the latest updates. The news was brought to you by Orange.